Good morning, everyone. It is Thursday, May 7th, and Thursday means Pioneer. So let's take a look at the 28 decks in today's dump and see where Pioneer is going these days. Uh, heads up, there are 26 companions out of these 28 decks. Yep, just two holdouts here, not going for the extra free card. So, let's start with Nine Plan and their Obosh. Uh, is this Mono Red? Yeah, Obosh Mono Red. And that's pretty straightforward build. Pretty much all your best one and three drops. And do we go up to five? Nope. One and three. Drawback, of course, with Obosh is you can't run Ember Cleave. That's definitely a, a drawback. Kasa gets a 5-0 with a Lurus. Uh, this is the Lurus Boris Heroic deck. Um, it shows up on Goldfish's Boris Feather, but don't be fooled. There's no Feather in it. Uh, Lurus is, is running the helm instead of Feather now. Batagol 85 with a Yorion Black White. Oh, this is the Black White Doom Foretold deck. Yep. Starting to... Poke its head into the fringes of the metagame here. Uh, the, a tier 3 thing, but it's definitely around. You will see it. MTG Skeggy with a Gigantha Bant Spirits deck. That's a pretty easy include for Bant Spirits. Can even cast it off its normal mana base. Ixidor's Dreams with Loris Orzov Auras. The top deck in the format right now, I think. Either that or Lotus Breach. Those are your 1-2. Ardos. Quick 5-0 here with Lurus. Oh, a Lurus version of the Lotus Breach deck. Not the most common build. Definitely. Um, because you miss out on the Vizier. But most of the other stuff fits in. Uh, any tricksy stuff here? We do have an Ugin. The Spirit Dragon hanging out in the sideboard. That's kind of interesting to get with your Fae of Wishes. Heather Ripal with. Ha! Huh, a Zerda cycling deck. That's kind of interesting. Just six creatures, but we do have the four Shark Typhoons. That's kind of wild. Castle Vantress. No. I would be interested, I think, in including uh, the White Castle in here. I think to get tokens. Just, I feel six creatures is a little low, but that's me. Zenith Flare makes up for a lot of ills, though. That's I, I like that. Ruda with a Yorion Mono White Aggro or Mono White Heliod deck, I guess. I don't know if I'd call it aggro. But there you go. Lots of enchantment based. I guess we are. This is the Mono White Splashing Blue, sorry. Uh, Reflector Mage, Teferi, and Omen of the Sea. So white, you devotion. Young Toast. It's a 5-0 with Demir Inverter. This is the Yorion build. Just more of all the good stuff. And I, th I think I mentioned in last uh, Pioneer video that Yorion, if you've got Thassa and Thassa's Oracle and Inverter in play, Yorion is an instant win. McLeod Bro with a Yorion... This one is mono white. Uh, tons of white aggro stuff. Topping out at Arcanus Al. Uh, no, Elspeth conquers death in here. Some interventions. Yep. So, a true mono white devotion deck there. Silent SN with Yorion based uh, Jeskai Fire Super Friends. 16 different Planeswalkers. And 
and I think just one of them is, oops, sorry about that. All right, let's get back to things. My apologies there. But anyway, just got fire super friends. What I was going to say is just one of these planeswalkers is pre-war of a spark. And that's Gideon of the Trials. And that's only in there because of Inverter. Pastel Zero with a Lurus based uh, this looks to be Salt Eye. Just kind of a Salt Eye as mid-range as you can get when all your permanents are two drops. Dead weight for removal. Unbridled growth. Interesting little deck. Hiryo 9, or Hiyor I 9, Hiyori 9, Hiyori 9, Hiyori 9, something like that. Lurus based uh, Orzhov Rally. Uh, new deck that's been popping up, definitely seeing more of it, so be watching for that one. Kurvagen High with Yorion Jeskai Fires. Um, similar idea to what we, we had before this one's got four luca so this oh this is this is a pioneer port of the jeskai luca's jeskai luca agent of treachery deck that has been terrorizing standard um yeah this agent of treachery is the big boogeyman in standard right now and this is the pioneer port of that deck so We'll see. I mean, the power levels between the two formats are not that different. So, I mean, Pioneer's better, definitely, but as far as power level goes. But we'll see what this deck does uh, and what tools are needed to fight it. The Nobodies gets a 5-0 with a Gigantha-based Sultai Delirium. Oh, no, we're just blue-green. Blue this is blue green uh, Simic ramp. Yep. This one. Up to Emrakul, Golos. Sort of a ramp deck. But I think it's better, you know, it's more categorized than that than anything else. Needs weeds. With no companion. And this is mono black aggro. Uh, can't run Obosh because Rankle is so good and that cancels out Lurus. You can't run uh, Karuga because you need all your little ones, ones and twos. So this deck kind of loses out on the um, on the companion train, but pulled off the 5-0. Nice work. Darkius, Darkusun, Darkundisa, I don't know, something like that. With a Lurus based Hardened Scales deck. No real surprises in here, except maybe the Croxa in the sideboard. That's a little interesting. Uh, this is a black red deck at heart. Not the black. Oh, this is in Soul. I'm sorry. I saw the scales. I didn't see the in Soul artifact. This is interesting. So we're Grixis. Grixis and Soul. Okay. I'm, I'm up for it. That's interesting. First time I think I've seen these two put together here. Matachai. With... This is the Obzon Rally deck. I think it's just splashing green to help with Fiend Artisan and Seder Wayfinder. Uh, Crawl Harpooner in the side... Allows Mythos of Nethroi. Okay. So that's instead of um, Abrupt Decay or um, Assassin's Trophy. Snapcaster Bolt is playing the Jeskai Fires Luka deck. Just two Agents of Treachery, but they're the only creatures in the deck. So 
All right, that's two of these builds now. Uh, let's be watching for it in the leagues and in the tournaments this coming weekend. will be very interesting to see what happens there. Um, Magic Viking with a Yorion Sultai Pile of Value. Sultai Delirium with Yorion. Yep. <clears throat> Not as strong as it was after it first debuted, but it's definitely in the second tier of the format. Oisocrat with a Yorion. Uh, this is... Esper Control. Huh, cool. I've not seen that in a while. Elspeth's Nightmare. Good against all the Luris decks, definitely, that first chapter. Astral Plane with Luris Boros Burn, or Boros Blitz, or however you want to describe it. But it's pretty much a burn deck, I think. Boros Charm, Lightning Strike, Wild Slash, and Wizard's Lightning. Light up the stage to refill. Curtis Axel with... Uh, what do we got? We have no companion. And this is a Sultai mid-range. This is not a Delirium deck. This is just Sultai good stuff. Sultai mid. Three Soul Guide Lanterns, I mean. Kind of cool. The Sandwich King with Yorion White Blue Devotion. Slightly different build than what we saw earlier. But definitely one of the top decks in the format. Scally 323 with Yorion. So this is Yorion Jeskai Fire Super Friends. This one is not the Luka build. So we've seen four of this deck now. Two with Luca and two without. And obviously, for four of them to make it into the dump, they're sufficiently different. But that's an interesting development. It's a deck that's really started to pick up in the last week or two. And in the last week, really. And now it's kind of all over. So interesting to watch where this archetype goes. If the Luca build is better or what's happening. So definitely something to watch. CS Midi gets a 5-0 with Lurus Hardened Scales. And this is the Obzon build. And yeah, good aggro deck. Scalo 94 with Niv-Mizzet. This is a Yorion build. Uh, as just before I was recording this, I was participating in the Five Color Niv Discord. They are group building a modern version of the deck for Lutri, the companion that allows you to only have one of each non-land card in your deck. Uh, six of the ten companions are compatible with the idea of a Bring to Light Niv Mizzet deck. And I've already seen three of them show up in one build or other whether it be in a tournament or a league or something. So uh, it'll be interesting to see if an Obosh or a Lutri build uh, is actually viable. So, yeah, niv um This is a... Traversi Uvenwald is a little unusual for the deck. Um, Trial of Ambition is nice to have if you've got Yorion, definitely. Uh, so, a little bit of a different take on the deck. A few, a few cool new card choices, but yeah, this is one of the primary builds of the deck. Aspiring Spike with our last deck of the list. And we've got... Um, this is, is this Sultai Traverse? Sultai Delirium? No, this is Obzon Delirium. That's kind of cool. Lurus? Almost an Obzon aggro deck of sorts. Maybe mid-range. It's hard to say mid-range when your creatures are so small. But, yeah. So, we saw a bunch of bunch of companion stuff. Some interesting develop, developments here with the um, Jessica Fires lists. That's going to be something to watch. 
We had 12 Yuri on decks, 10 Luris, 2 Gigantha, and 1 each for Obosh and Zerda. And yeah, that was it for today. Uh, hope you enjoyed what you saw. If you do, do please hit that like and subscribe button and that notification bell so that you know when my next video is coming up. And we will be back tomorrow with Modern, and that'll be the end of the week. So uh, have fun out there, stay safe, and uh, sling some cards. Talk to you soon.